Hey, what's up? So in the previous video, we saw how we can use the unwrap, how we can use the unwrap result function from the text toolkit to extract, to extract the correct uh, error message in the correct place in the catch function uh, on the promise, which is very helpful. So now we can actually dispatch another thing, dispatch another actions uh, to tell our uh, to tell other parts in our state in our app that there is an error happened here or anything like that. Maybe we can set the state of this component to display an error message or stuff like that. So this is very useful and uh, we should definitely know about this. But what I am now to, going to show you, I will show you how we can handle the reject uh, or the, how we can store the error message from our rejected reducer. So this is our thunk. This is our rejected reducer. It just points that, hey, the loading state is rejected. So this is me from testing area. But now this is the original code. The second argument contains some stuff. So let's console log these and check them out. So I'll be rejected like this. So let's refresh. Let's go to dashboard. Remember our API is closed or stopped. So let's go to dashboard. This object error comes from console log here, which is nice. And this rejected comes from here. So as you can see, now we have type and payload is undefined, nothing returned. We have an error object. So let's, let's, let's destruct that error. And inside of it, we have the message. I just need the message. And this will be error message. And by default, this will be null. And let's go to our dashboard. And let's just have another selector. I'll just put it here. So state, state dot dashboard dot error message. This will be error message. And remember, I will put it here in our to do. And this will be it. So I hit refresh. That's it. As simple as that. So let's go to our Redux state. So dashboard, we have our error message. So yeah, I think the bottom line here, or what you need, what you need to understand, is every thunk and every thunk generated by or created by the create async thunk will always resolve. Will always resolve. Yeah. And the resolved value could be the error message or the actual request or the actual data that have been returned. To fix that, you will use the unwrap result. And that makes it, if have been resolved correctly, it will resolve normally. It have if if have if it have been resolved with an error, it will throw an error and put it and your catch callback function will be called. Okay, so unwrap result will fix that. But if you need to handle it inside your reducer, the rejected reducer will accept or will have access to the error object that have been returned from the promise. And you can't do anything you want with it. So you have two ways to handle errors. I think this one is very specific. And this one with the unwrap result is very generic. So I can't do anything I want to use. I can't dispatch any other action. So I hope this was useful and this is very important because you will need to handle errors in your application. And if you don't know this, you will write, you will write some weird code. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this one. I hope this was useful and bye.